So let us understand another important term in scheduling which is finite and infinite loading. So let us first understand what is meant by loading. Loading means assigning tasks to machines or other resources like workers. Now every resource has a maximum production capacity for a normal working day. So when you keep in mind this maximum capacity while loading the resources with the tasks, it is known as finite loading. Thus, finite loading involves assigning tasks to the resources such that the maximum capacity of the resource is not exceeded at any time. So let us draw a Gantt chart for a finite loading scenario. So let's say on the x-axis we have time in days. And on the y-axis, we have load in terms of hours per day. Now let's say this resource has a maximum capacity of 8 hours per day. So in case of finite loading, you will load this resource with 8 or less than 8 hours per day. So the loading will appear something like this. So it's 8 hours for a few days, might be less for a few days, then again 8 hours, then less than 8 hours then again 8 hours and so on. Now infinite loading means overlooking the maximum capacity of a resource while assigning tasks to it. So if we take the same example that a resource has maximum capacity of 8 hours per day and if you assign tasks which are going to take 10 hours or anything more than 8 hours, then that will be considered as infinite loading. So let us draw the Gantt chart for infinite loading scenario. On the x-axis we have time in days and on the y-axis we have load and again the maximum capacity of the resource is 8 hours per day. So the loading may appear something like this, which is more than the maximum capacity of 8 hours per day. So the first YAN chart is for finite loading. While the second one is for infinite 
morning. Now the infinite loading scenario generally happens when you have some orders which have been delayed and hence you want to catch up or when you have more orders than the capacity and still you want to deliver them on time. So you overload your resources. Now when the resources are overloaded sometimes the workers have to perform over time or another alternative could be to subcontract the extra work. 